Hi guys. Guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a form view and how to create a tree view. Uh, for this practice, I'm using Odoo 15, community edition, of course, and along with the ID I'm using is Visual Studio Code. In my last video, I have shown you how to create an action and how to create the menus. So what happens when we create menu menu buttons or menus and action, but we don't create tree view and form view. So what happens if we go in our uh, Odoo uh, front view and we click the customer details, which is the name of, of, of the custom module. And here, if you see, there is no tree view because we have not created it. And so, uh, so automatically, uh, generally, Odoo will just show a just tree view, but no names and no uh, headings and nothing. So this is the uh, record which has been created, but we cannot see because we have not created our custom tree view or list view. Uh, but if we just click or create, so it will uh, open a form view, which is just, just a generalized form view. And what will happen that Odoo will automatically uh, go in this model, which is our custom uh, model, and then pick the uh, uh, field fields from there. Uh, so if we just go in our Visual Studio and in our Py file, so what we'll do, what Odoo will do, it will just pick random uh, fields from the models and then show in that form view. But if we just want to create our own form view where we can just create um, groups and in that groups we can categorize um, the categories and we can categorize the names and we just uh, we just place our fields wherever we want, then we need to create a form view. Okay, so how we can do that? Let's let's start it. So let's go in the XML file. So here, this is the action view. This these are the menus. So here, let's start and create a tree view first. So how we can do that? Um, to make it very easy, I will suggest you just go in any uh, Odoo modules. So go in Odoo modules. I will go in add-ons and let's go in uh, let's go in sales module. So let's check. So these are the modules. I will just go and search for a sale module. So this is sale here. I will go in the models and in model, I will just look for sale order dot pi. Okay, uh, sorry, this is the pi file. I will just go in the views, sorry for that. So in views, I will say sale views and here just go and search for a tree view. So these are the menu items. Uh, this is the action. Yes, this is a form view. So rather than getting a form view, we're just getting a list view, this graph, Kanban. Okay, this is a tree view. Let's copy this. This is a, let's copy this and paste it in our file. Okay. What you do, just delete all these fields. We don't need many fields here. Okay. So let's start with record ID. We just will give any um, of, um, record ID of our choice. I will say that customer details, uh, tree view. Yeah. And here, this will be uh, unchanged. We need to give IRUI.view. This is the name of the model. Uh, here, we need to give sale order tree. So I will say that uh, customer details dot tree okay uh, in the model we need to give our model name which is first class dot name we need to give this model name here okay uh, this priority we don't need basically this field in our tree view we say field name arch type xml okay uh, and uh, we need this tree string sale order. We say it here, customer 
just say customers, customer. Uh, and we don't need this sample decoration info. Invo no, nothing. We don't need anything here. Guys, that's it. So this is the tree string. So there will be a tree because with the name, it's been clear. We are making a tree view. So in that, we just need to choose the fields now. So if we go in our pie file, uh, I will say first name. And we can give last name. Then, okay, phone number. And email. And we can also give gender as well, okay. It depends that how many fields we want. Uh, we don't need this. I will explain you in my later videos why we use this. Okay, so this is it. This is a tree view. Let's run this. So it's been updating and after that, after updating, I will show you um, how our new tree view will look like. Okay, it's been updated. Let's go to customer details. So if you see, so before there was no headings coming, no tree view, proper tree view was coming, but now as you can see, it's first name, last name, mobile number, email and gender as we have mentioned in our tree view. So this is how we can create our tree view. Now I will show you how to create a form view. Okay, um, how to make a form view, we again go back in our XML file. So this is our tree view. After tree view, we need to create a form view. So again, copy this guys, because code will be quite similar. So this is, the okay here we need to give our id so i will say that customer details form view yeah that's it uh, this is uh, this will be unchanged ir.ui.view uh, then uh, we say customer details i will say here uh, form and the model name will be the same first class model uh, then Field name is arch type is XML. Yes, that will be fine. Uh, here in tree string, we will say that form string. Form string is customer details or anything you want to give, um, to be honest with you. Uh, after that, uh, okay, we also need to change form here, the ending tag. Uh, what we do, we just erase them for for time being okay uh, after form we need to create a tag of sheet so basically this will create a, a clear sheet on which we want to create um, different groups or or fields how we want it so let's make a first group right and in this group uh, which fields we want so we say uh, we want these four f f these three fields so far in this group we format this yeah so first name last name and phone number in this group and then we create another group here guys And in this group, we create uh, these two fields, email, gender. Let's format them. 
okay so and what what's left if we go there address as well so we put another field as well address right guys let's align them sorry okay so that's it this is a simplified form of the form uh, so first we give a, a id then name then the model name uh, then uh, it's field name or uh, type is xml and then string we give our form a string, which is a customer details sheet, a new sheet, and then we arrange the groups, categorize the fields in that group. That's it. Uh, let's run it, run our module, and let's see that how our form looks like. I'm just upgrading my module. Okay, that's it. So if I see upgrade. I think uh, there is none error. Let's go and check customer details or module. So this is the tree view which already uh, we have made and now we need to check how our form view will look like. We click our record set. And that's it. We have made two groups. One group, three fields. One group, three fields. So uh, this is how we can create our uh, form view. If let's create a new one, so this will look like this. First name. Uh, you can do one more thing. You can uh, put these two groups in, in another group. That will also uh, look good. Let, let me just do it. So if... I make another group here and let's okay let's run it again now let's discard this record and we go and upgrade our module again one more time it has been upgraded let's go to customer details and go in our records so if you see here if we create a new form before the fields were coming really really big and really really big fails it was not looking very good but now because we have made two groups so those two groups which we have we created before we have put those groups in another group and it has been categorized like that so if we just create any anything um, Samuel and last name is anything keen mobile number is whatever email address keen at email.com and the gender mail addresses x y z anything okay we save it and that's it this is how we can create our tree view and form view i hope you will like this video guys if you like this video please uh, like it uh, subscribe it click on the subscribe button and also share with your friends thank you so much bye